Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best DAX in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 9. Benchmark DAC 3HGC. Benchmarks DAC 1 and DAC 2 have been the industry standard for DAC performance since they were released. The DAC 3 was eagerly awaited by anyone familiar with the company's incredible audio conversion performance, and this surely must have piled the pressure onto the design team to deliver. Eyes not quite as fun to use as the Hugo 2 or the RME ADI 2 DAC, and doesn't offer features like Bluetooth. However, it's far more affordable, and the sound is just unbelievable. The DAC 3 features advanced harmonic filtering, which is especially evident in its silky sweet top-end audio performance. The hybrid gain control HGC, truly helps focus the sound. For anyone unfamiliar with Benchmark, it should be noted that DAC 3 is optimized for a direct connection with power amps or powered speakers. This should not be taken for granted, a lot of effort has been poured into the gain stage optimization of the balanced outputs and the state-of-the-art volume attenuation. We could go on about this DAC's merits, but perhaps it's enough to say that it really stands on the shoulders of giants, the extraordinary DAC 1 and DAC 2, and deserves to be the beating heart of any setup. Number 8. S.M.S.LSU A9. Let's say you want a DAC that can handle MQA files from the title streaming service, but you don't want to spend thousands of dollars. In that case, you need the S.M.S.LSU A9, a highly competent DAC that unfolds MQA files cleanly. It costs less than $500, and performs exceptionally well. We'd compare it favorably to something like the Cord Electronics Mojo, which is one of the best DACs you can buy. We have our reservations about MQA, which you can read about in the buying advice below, but this is a good place for it. There's one major downside to the S.M.S.LSU 9, and it has nothing to do with the sound quality. It's an almost unforgivable design flaw, the fact that it has only three rubber feet on the bottom. That means it will wobble when placed on a desk, which is a lot more annoying than it sounds. It's a great DAC, especially for MQA listeners, but you need to be aware of what you're getting before you buy. Number 7. Periodic Audio Rhodium. Everybody and their mother is producing compact dongle DACs these days, DACs which are designed to connect to phones without headphone sockets. We think the best you can buy right now is the Periodic Audio Rhodium. It's as simple as they come, a tiny dongle that can handle files up to 32 bit 384 kHz, and which can plug directly into your phone's charging socket and to your laptop with the included USB adapter. We can't think of an easier or cheaper way to jack your sound quality, and although there is no MQA or DSD support, the audio here is splendid. Sure. It's not going to compete with something like the $300 AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt, which is the best portable DAC you can buy. But it still manages to impress, and is ideal for those who want to use wired headphones with newer smartphones. One word of warning on the periodic audio rhodium. The headphone output is 3.5mm only, and if you use headphones that have a 6.3mm jack, you'll need to invest in a separate adapter. These adapters aren't costly, but it's still an additional thing to worry about. For this price, we aren't complaining too much, but it's worth bearing in mind if you do plan to buy. Number 6. Topping D10S. The Chinese company Topping have slowly started to dominate the DAC conversation, particularly in the world of budget models. Their D10S, which we think is one of the best DACs they make, has two particular features that make it a worthwhile purchase. Firstly, there is a very handy digital display on the front of the DAC which gives you sample rate and audio format details. Secondly, there's an S PDF output on the rear, meaning the D10S can function as an S PDF converter. That means you can quite happily pair it with another DAC further down the line and get an even keener signal. No other budget DAC on this list offers these features, including our top budget pick, the Shite Modi. The problem is that the Topping D10S just can't compete on sound. It gets the job done, but it lacks body and drive, 
which is not a problem the identically priced Shite Modi has. While we do think the D10S is worthy of consideration thanks to its unique features, we wouldn't recommend it for pure conversion quality. Number 5. Cord Electronics Mojo. This is a superb DAC. The looks may seem gimmicky, until you note the price, which might give you an idea of the Mojo's hidden talents. It's perhaps the best melding of amp circuitry and DAC circuitry that we've ever tested, with breathtaking synergy in the sound. It also happens to be portable, which is an added bonus, although it is equally at home when connected to a Mac or PC. In spite of its tiny size, the Mojo can take digital audio streams through several ports, a mini USB, S PDIF and optical 1/8 inch mini jack. The analog outputs are 1/8, 3.5 mm mini jacks and you have two paired outs, just in case you want to wow your date with your high-res audio library. It doesn't quite have the oomph of its bigger brother, the Hugo 2, but it's a terrific budget option. We do think that the Cord Mojo could do with an update at some point. While Cord have released a capable app, which has resolved the issues with controlling the Mojo that we had in the past, it is still outclassed as a portable device by just about every digital audio player with a screen. Compared to other portable ducks, however, like the Audiolab MDAC Nano, it's in a class of its own. By the way, there's now even an add-on, called the Poly, which functions as a portable music player with SD card slot. Seriously, just buy this thing already. Number 4. AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt. If you're looking for a portable DAC, the AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt should be your first choice. It's nothing more than a simple USB stick with a 3.5mm headphone output, but what it does is nothing short of extraordinary. The Dragonfly Cobalt delivers lively, exciting sound, and its internal DAC can handle a variety of file formats, including MQA from Tidal. It remains the single most convenient headphone amp we've ever tested, and has the added benefit of looking really cool. The Dragonfly Cobalt is an upgrade of the AudioQuest Dragonfly Red, and it must be said that if you own the original, you don't need to upgrade. The Red costs $200 which is $130 less expensive than the Cobalt, making it much more budget-friendly. However, price aside, we think the Dragonfly Cobalt is an absolutely superb update that offers genuine benefits. If you want a portable headphone amp, this will easily beat models from Audiolab mentioned below. The Dragonfly Cobalt is light, powerful, and delivers killer sound. Bear in mind that it only delivers file sizes up to 96 kHz, which is a deliberate choice on AudioQuest's part. This isn't necessarily a deal-breaker, but worth bearing in mind before you purchase, part of this precision is due to noise reduction. AudioQuest claim they've tweaked the internal circuitry to reduce interference from things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, as well as electrical noise. You'd have to perform specific tests to measure the noise levels, not something we have the budget or expertise for, but we believe we could hear the difference. We tested the Dragonfly Cobalt both against our laptop's headphone output and a Bluetooth-based DAC, the Blue Wave Get, full review here. The Cobalt sound felt significantly cleaner and more realistic than both, and in the case of the headphone output, that goes double. Number 3. Shite Modi 3 Plus. Shite's Modi line remains a DAC classic, especially when paired with the amazing Magni amp. This latest update, the 3 Plus, distills all the wizardry of the previous Modi variations into a single sub-$100 DAC. This model is the third version of the Modi, and should theoretically be called the Modi 3, Shite rebooted the branding, so now it's just the Modi. It's not a huge update on the Modi 2, but it doesn't need to be, it already does what it's supposed to extremely well. The audio it delivers is crisp and clean, and operation is beautifully straightforward. It's not one of the most exciting DACs, but it is an incredible DAC for the price, and if you're on a budget, it's a great choice. The Modi does have an upgraded version available, the Modi Multibit, which adds additional inputs and a fantastic digital filter. It's more expensive, though, at $249, so be aware of that before you buy. Regarding the vanilla Modi, we think it's a good if unspectacular DAC that can form the unassuming backbone of any decent hi-fi or headphone system. It replaces the old Fulla on this list, that model is still available, but we think the Modi does a slightly better job as a DAC. Number 2. 
Cord Electronics Hugo 2. The Cord Hugo 2 is outstanding. It's a high-end, portable DAC with aptX Bluetooth and a 7-hour battery life that delivers magnificent sound. It can handle huge sample rates and bit depth, up to 32 bit 768 kHz, as well as full DSD functionality, up to DSD 512. Oh, and the built-in amp can generate enough power to handle all but the most demanding headphones. While there is an argument that the company's slightly cheaper Mojo, below, offers better value, there's a reason why this has become a firm favorite among audiophiles. We love this DAC, and it's an easy pick for our top high-end option. It isn't the best-sounding DAC on this list, that would be the RME ADI-2 DAC, above. It's not the best portable DAC, like the AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt. But it does so many things so well that we'd be insane to put anything else at the top. Cord makes several excellent DACs, including the Dave, and the brand new Quotest, but for sheer range of features, design, sound quality, and value, the Hugo 2 just crushes it. Cord make other terrific high-end DACs, including the $7,000 Hugo TT2, but the Hugo 2 is the top choice for our money. And there's more, as we prepare to publish our latest update, Cord announced the release of a streaming accessory, the 2GO, of course, that turns the Cord into a full music streamer with Wi-Fi connectivity. Number 1. RME ADI 2 DAC F. RME have been quietly making nerdy audio equipment since 1996. The German manufacturer might not be a household name stateside, but they've become very good at what they do. We were able to spend a month with their ADI 2 digital to analog converter, and are convinced that even the most popular US audio companies should be worried. Very worried. In this review, we break down the ADI 2 DAC sound, design, packaging and accessories, specs, and more. To see how it stacks up, check out our list of the best DACs, the RME ADI 2 DAC has a ton of great features, and we'll get to them shortly, but we'd like to start with the sound quality. We'll put this as simply as we can, the ADI 2 DAC is one of the best sounding pieces of audio equipment we've ever heard. Not just one of the best DACs, one of the best anything, period. Digital to analog converters, DACs, are all about noise and timing. The goal is to convert digital ones and zeros into an audible electrical signal, and do so in such a way that the timing of the recording is preserved perfectly with as little noise as possible. The more successful a DAC is at doing so, the better the resulting sound quality will be. For example, the DAC chip in your standard smartphone is not good at this, whereas the DAC chip in the ADI-2 DAC is absolutely breathtaking. Even before you start fiddling with equalization, EQ, and loudness, and all the other myriad of things it can do, the ADI-2 DAC will have already taken over your life. Even if all you do is set it up, plug in some headphones, and start listening, you'll be blown away.